Oh, no, if, if my audience can't watch this. You guys better not fuck up that Code Veronica remake or I'll kick your ass. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is a terrible promotional video. I don't want to go to Raccoon City at all. You suck in the remake, Nemesis. Just saying. <laughs> you suck in the remake. What's thou shutting the fuck up? Hey there, guys. It's your buddy Bulldozer Man. Welcome to Resident Evil 3. Nemesis. Considered by many the pinnacle of the Resident Evil series right behind Resident Evils 2 and 4. I personally think uh, 4 and Code Veronica are the best, but eh, that's just me. Hmm, I can't go in easy mode or you'll think I'm a wimp. Hard mode. And time for a cutscene. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. My last escape. This is Chopper Delta, preparing to drop off at area E95070. Oh my god, you guys fucking suck. Haven't you ever watched watch like freaking Night of the Living Dead? You're supposed to shoot a zombie in the head to kill it, not spray and pray the torso. Oh. oh well, I guess this game came out in 1998, so whatever. Anyway, there's some things I want to talk about, but first I gotta I gotta get out of harm's way. Shit. Man. Every time I get hit by that damn zombie. Ugh. Anyway, yeah. I've had so many problems trying to get this game working. Seven freaking emulators I tried. All of them didn't fucking work. I was missing the BIOS file, then I found out the copy of the game I'm using is European, so it wasn't going to work on any American fucking September emulators. Daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Yeah, turns out European ROMs of this game and, you know, US emulator BIOS files don't mix. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there! How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, 
but there isn't gonna be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters! Stop yapping like the now prince and no one gives a damn castle! Ugh, jeez. <laughs> well, that's you off the Christmas card list. <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, I, w I wonder if I would have shoot those doors if he'd say anything. <laughs> Look in the remake. <laughs> yeah, fuck that stupid remake. That remake sucks. But yeah, between Emily is not working, getting the wrong copy of the game, and then there was a setting in the game, well, there was a setting on the emulator that if it wasn't set, the game would freeze and crash right there when trying to pick this up. These freaking handgun bullets. My word. Uh, first aid spray, don't need that. Using a first aid spray actually uh, hurts your grade in this game, so I'm going to make it a point not to use any of those. I should forewarn you guys, I haven't played this game in like 15 years, so I'm pretty rusty when it comes to like these controls. So if I screw up and, you know, like take damage, then that's probably why. Like, you know, I used to get like consistent A's and B's in this game back in the day, but that was a long time ago. So. Wait, we got that key, we got gunpowder over here. Gone Palda. Actually, as long as we're here, that brings that up. That pauses. There's the menu. Yep. I'm gonna check these. These game instructions. I get them out of my inventory. I guess I could also just you know toss them in the item box, but you gotta actually read them for them to count as a file. It's the little sense is that makes. Should be an ink ribbon right there. I'll take that. Thank you. Yeah, this is the 1998 version of of Resident Evil 2. I know the remake is a thing, but ugh. can we please not talk about that version of the game? That version sucks. It's one of the reasons I'm playing this right now to try and do this game some justice, cause. That remake of RE3 bombed. Like, my god. How did they go from the godly masterpiece that was Resident Evil 2 remake to remaking this game and fucking butchering it? Ugh. And that's the nicest thing, thing that I've heard said about that game. Like, my god. Anyway, I'm gonna try and not spend this whole playthrough just spewing out hatred for that remake. Even though it freaking deserves to be like bashed over the head with a sword or something. Or maybe that knife that I left in the item boxes. In this game, the knife blows. Like, seriously, say a zombie had like 30 points of health, that knife per swing does like half a point of damage. It sucks. Whereas the handgun here probably does like six or seven. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Uh oh. Uh, okay, that's a shoot button. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Shit. Crap. Yeah, I tried to do the quick turn and it would not work. Ah, damn it. I think a lot of damage here. This is not good. <laughs> Ugh. I'm not doing too good, and I just started. Shit. Come on, go down. I said that guy took. I got to the shots there. Just one more. Oh, why did Jill aim over there? Hope that zombie's dead. Shit's not dead. Die. No, there's one more down here. Oh, if I got enough ammo for him. I don't want to use up those gunpowders unless I absolutely have to. It's... Damn it. I fucking tried to do the dodge move there and it wouldn't work. Well, at least I'm still on fines. I'll get the shotgun. Right here. The shotgun. <laughs> That should help out. I'll just 
this reload. Alright, not off to a good start so far. We've taken a lot of stupid damage. Already run out of friggin' handgun bullets. <laughs> not the greatest start ever, but... Well, at least I'm still on fine. Somehow. Actually, hang on. I'm probably gonna backtrack and put the herbs away. As I know what's up next in the next area. There's gonna be a lot of items. I'm gonna run out of inventory room. That way. And yeah, there's nothing in that 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 other direction, so yeah. Just don't bother going that way. But anyway, yeah. Between all the trouble I had getting this game working, and then the first time I tried to record it, and uh, and it got stuck when I had picked up those bullets, my freaking controller started malfunctioning. Like, like the freaking. Like, there's some drift on the stupid analog stick, and the freaking rumble feature went crazy. Like, it started rumbling and it just would not stop. It was like, shit, what the hell's going on here? You're like, seriously, is it a bug or something? Is, uh, like, is my freaking controller wearing out? Well, after uh, two or three years, I wouldn't be surprised, but still, what the hell? Jeez, uh, I was half tempted to play this game on, like, <laughs> a mouse and keyboard, like it did way back in the day. No, I want to make this feel feel as authentic as possible. Even though that glitch during that opening, like, FMV should make it clear that I'm not playing this on an actual PlayStation. You know, but this is an emulator. You know, I did copy the ROM... I did make the ROM image from a physical copy of the game I owned. I actually did that with with the original Metal Gear Solid too, but yeah, that was that was like God, 15, 16 years ago. So Yeah, that was a long time ago. I wouldn't be surprised if the ROMs are so screwed up in some respect now. It's like a dodge some of these zombies instead of shooting them. I don't have a lot of ammo right now. <laughs> well, somebody just got eaten. <laughs> Let's go up here. Get some more herbs. Take that. And I'll take that. I don't know if I got enough ammo to take a nemesis later. Uh, spoilers. <laughs> ah, great. There's a zombie right here. I don't know if I can get past him. Shit. Jeez, stop throwing up. Jeez, I'm not Sherry from RE2. <laughs> you bastard. Alright, let's see what's this way. Oh, I hear gunshots. Who's that? Ah, oh, shoot. Ugh. Not doing good. I hate this. Is there anything over here? No, probably not. So can... Or just get hit again. Shh. Taking a lot of stupid damage here. This sucks. Jeez, if I get hit one more time, I'm probably going to reset. Uh-oh. It's Brad Vickers. And he's in trouble. Don't worry, Brad. I'll help you. First, I'm going to see what's over here. Let's Thank you. There's also this right here. Locked our postcard. Nice. And, oh, zombie's dead. Yeah, don't waste any bullets helping Brad there. He'll take care of it himself. Brad, hang in there. 
Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. Uh, well, I might die if I can't perfect my he's dodging after stars game. Members. There's no escape. Who's after stars members, Brad? Yeah, he's chicken heart for a reason. He's probably not gonna tell us. Anyway, find the lighter with the lighted fluid. Uh, reload the pistol while we're here. There's nothing out that door, so let's not go that way. I think I remember there being... Ah! Stop checking that, Jill. Something here somewhere, but... Eh. Let's go. Yeah, again, haven't played this in 15 years. My zombie dodging game isn't exactly up to snuff right now, so probably going to be taking a lot of stupid damage, at least until I get the hang of it again. Zombie right here. Case in point. I'm already on danger. Ugh. I swear. <laughs> This way. Right, we got. Looks like we got some zombies back there. Okay. You don't need to use this right now, Jill. Use the on this to open the door. Jill, use it to open the door. I have to actually examine it. Uh oh. I need to back up further. Come here, zombies! Don't want to waste bullets on these guys. We're gonna have to. At least on that guy. Just race past them to get these herbs. That herb, get that herb, get this file. Whoa, don't run into the zombie, Jill. And wait a minute, why is the rope still on that door? I just burned it. Oh, wait, I didn't. <laughs> the zombies interrupted me. There we go. Now we can open it. Go. Nice, there we go. See, now my dodging uh, skills like starting to kick in. So let's just run, so they do with the dogs. Oh. Shit. <laughs> eh, I guess I was uh, bound to get hit by a dog eventually. Maybe some more gunpowder. A. B. Awesome. Let's drop him in here. As far as the gunpowder goes, I'm gonna try to aim to make a lot of freeze rounds, because memory serves, they're the best thing to take out Nemesis with. The nemesis. Let's make a couple of gold heels. Stash one away for later. Don't think I'll need it against ne against this first Nemesis encounter. That said. We're gonna need more handgun bullets because I don't think I have enough to take them on. I freaking wasted them all in the first bunch of zombies. Stuck. Alright, there we go. That should be enough to take them on. Are there are more ink ribbons over here by this typewriter. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, well, too bad. Let's go. Hi, doggies. All right, we do have an encounter with the nemesis up and coming. Arp. 
first encounter with the nemesis. The nemesis. Good old Nemi. <laughs> yeah, not funny. We've got a surprise attack coming from above. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, Brad, but you kind of deserve that for, you know, freaking ditching us in the helicopter in the first, in the first freaking RE game. Chicken heart, what a chicken shit. Anyway, I'm gonna wait. Now choose it. It puts me right here so I can dash out the door. Yeah, there's actually a glitch out here with the nemesis. If you wait till that thing's on red before you pick it, it'll put you right by that door. You can make a mad dash before he catches up with you. Alright guys, we're back. This is my second attempt at this fight with Nemesis because I actually died on my first attempt after getting pretty far <laughs> into the battle. So, here's take two. And this time I should manage to not get you know, bitten by every zombie in sight. I think I only got hit once this time and I was able to conserve some more ammo, so... This time should go a, a little better than last time, anyway. You know, I, I, I just brought both herbs and I'm not starting on caution this time. <laughs> Come on, Nemi. <laughs> and yeah, for some reason, when I, you know, I had to restart the emulator to get it working again. Nemesis just missed me completely because he's a moron. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I had to restart my emulator and my freaking controller went. Wasn't working for some reason. I'm not sure why. I was hoping to run past him there. Get up. Run. Like with the shotgun real fast. Wrong way, Jill. Was to aim down with the shotgun, not up. <laughs> oh, you're so funny sometimes. But that's why we, that's why we all love you. So we dodge the grab that time. Shouldn't be too much more. Yeah! Take that, bitch! <laughs> Rob a bus to bus hell, you bus. Anyway, equal parts A. Awesome. So, yeah, it took me two tries to win that fight, but hey, at least I saved an herb. And yes, because I didn't get, you know, damage on the way here, I actually saved those other two green herbs, so... If I find two more red herbs, then I'll have three full heals on standby. So yeah, this second attempt's going a lot better. So yeah, this... Just to clarify, I am good at classic... Like, Resident Evil games, it's... Just not when I haven't played it in like, like 15 years. Anyway, this, we can get Brad Star's card. We'll need that to progress. And I think little Miss Maggie is crying to be let inside, so if you'll... If you'll... Uh, give me a second. Alright. Took care of that. Seriously, you'd think this tortoise shell would know not to, like... Not to, like, <laughs> barge into my recordings like that. We got free green herbs here. I'll have to come back for those. I gotta go drop some stuff off in the nearest item box. Give me some handgun bullets. Thank goodness. <laughs> so my shotgun's looking a little empty right now. And you know what I just realized? I didn't get the ink ribbons in the warehouse. Shoot! I was in such a hurry to get back here, I missed the ink ribbons. 
Oh well. There's the police station map. I need to use this right now. You do need to use this right now, Jill. Come on. Man, what is up with her not not freaking using stuff? Four, three, one, two. And yeah, this game. Uh, this game is still so near and precious to me. I believe this game in the original Resident Evil 2 on PlayStation were my first introduction to the series. That was so long ago. Uh, hang on a minute, is there anything in here? Uh, no, okay. Just making sure. You gotta check everything that looks... Everything that looks slightly out of place. This... Because you never know where something might be hiding. You get this. Let's make a run for it before those zombies catch up. Run, 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 run. Good. Let's reload the shotgun. Yeah, you don't have to kill every single zombie, and I don't think there's enough ammo in this game to do that, so... It's better off to know how to dodge some enemies. Four, three, one, two. There we go. Need this. The emblem key. Which, if we check it, becomes the star's key. <laughs> so, there we go. I think there's something you want to somewhere. Okay, right there. But we need a... But lock for simple lock. We're gonna need something to open that. Simple locks cannot be opened with a key. We need a special tool for that. There's a zombie. That's you. You... Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, damn it. I got hit twice. Three times. Sheesh. You should have killed all those damn zombies. Oh well. I got to have plenty of herbs, so I'm not worried. Just gonna powder A. Probably put that away. Just gonna put stuff away. Don't need you. I won't need you till later. Hang on to these for now. Should be encrypted right here. Yep, there's one. So I can get those other ones the next time I'm back in that area. Let's put it this way. Yeah, this game is still so near and, like, <laughs> precious to me. Even after all these years. Like, my god. It only hurts so much that they remade this game and freaking butchered it so badly. Like, I hate that freaking remake. Like, seriously, how can you take such a timeless classic like Resident Evil 3 and screw it up that badly? It sucks. It literally just sucks, especially compared to the one that came before it. I just don't understand. But I'm not going to spend this whole playthrough just viewing out hate for that remake. If and when I ever get the money and the capability to play it myself, I'll go over my thoughts about it then. So I don't get hit first. Where's that going to be? Caution, okay. I'm going to go ahead and kill these zombies because I know I'm going to be back through here again. Ow. Did you not? Danger. Die. Thank you. Jeez. I saved all those herbs. Let a normal zombie get me down to danger. Not gonna kill you. I can probably dodge you fairly easily. Let's go up. Up, buddy. Also have the MLP yesterday. Ah, jeez. 
Ugh, that was bad. There usually isn't like free zombies like right by the staircase there. Uh, is there anything back here? No. I know in uh, Resident Evil 2, if you check behind that statue, you'll find some handgun bullets. Looks like we didn't get lucky this time, though. That's another thing about this game. The enemy and the item placements are often shuffled around. Like, like that time, all those zombies were just crowded by the staircase. And of course, I got hit, but some of the times that big fat zombie by the statue is by the stairs instead. So, And not just that, sometimes enemies and items are in completely different rooms. <laughs> Pretty much changes with every single playthrough, so yeah. That's definitely one thing that was not in the remake. The remake got freaking it did away with that for some reason. I still do not understand why. Wait, got some bullets. Nothing here. Let's look around. There's the stars. The stars team members. Stores. Trophies. The contest. Chris Redfield. Nice. He was one of the leading stars in Resident Evil 1. Right here. We got the lockpick. Awesome. Which I. Chris's diaries in here, although I don't understand it. Right now, uh, as far as the Resident Evil timeline is concerned, this game is set both before and after, like, Resident Evil 2. Chris's diary is supposed to be right here when uh, Leon and Claire find it, you know, in RE2, but that game hasn't happened yet, so where's Chris's diary? And where's the emblem that was under it? <laughs> Anyway, let's see what's in here. Yes! The grenade launcher! Kick ass! This could either be the grenade launcher or the magnum. I got lucky this time in that it was uh, the grenade launcher, because, again, freeze rounds, when fired out of this thing, are the best weapon to take on Nemesis. Uh, if you check that bag, you get a first aid spray, but again, those lower your ranking, so I won't be using them. Hello, what's this? interesting. Carlos, eh? He sounds like a twit. <laughs> well, he kind of is in this game. That was the one thing about the remake that they got right. They got, you know, you know, they fixed up Carlos and his freaking characterization so much in that game. It's a shame that it's not enough to save it for being a pretty shitty <laughs> like <laughs> pretty shitty remake all around. Yep, fat zombies down there now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to dodge all these guys. Nope. Wait. Where is the fat zombie? Did he just disappear? Huh. Weird. Where did he go? Unless he was hiding behind the statue somewhere, but... I don't know how a zombie that fat would hide behind that thing. You know, why is he is? Oh, well, I'm gonna really question it. Surprise, oh motherfucker! God, nemesis! Run, 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 run! Ooh. Yeah, freaking Nemesis just... I don't know, freaking John Rambo through the window, carrying a rocket launcher, because he'd be like that. Anyway, let's play that ominous music, because it's right outside waiting for us. So I think we're gonna get loaded up for battle here. Fish those herbs out. There we go. Then I'll put them away so I can plant something else. I don't think I have enough gunpowder for freeze rounds yet. Uh, let me check this and see what the combination is. Uh, 
I need two C's for freeze rounds. I only got enough to make one C, so... No grenade rounds for a nemesis yet. Bummer. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to make do with... with uh, what we got here. I'm gonna need the shotgun still. I'm probably not gonna use you just yet. I'm gonna save some of that ammo. Alright, Nemesis is right outside. Let's see if I can outrun him. Use Dodge's attack. Run! It's gonna shoot, I think. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, I freaking tries to swing a freaking rocket launcher at you. That ominous music, but let's use the lockpick. Look at that. Now we can make some freeze rounds. Too bad I left the. Too bad, too bad I, I left the grenade launcher back there. But we'll have to go back anyway, so. Whatever. Anyway, let's go in here. I think there's still some zombies in here that we need to deal with. Okay. I don't really have to deal with them. probably dodge them. Whoa, that's a horde. No. I'm just gonna run for it. Ha! Ah! Missed, dummy! Oh shoot, he got me with that one. There he is. Alright, I messed that up. I got 50,000 zombies in the room. I'm just gonna, gonna go out here. Alright, he's still on my tail, technically. Run around here and make him come out. Nope, he's just gonna hide in there. <laughs> up with the zombies, huh? He's got something I want, so I'm gonna try and get it from him if I can. If I'm gonna be able to. Hello! I think I got that in time. Oh, I was trying to bait him into shooting a rocket right as I go for the door. I don't know if I want to try that here. I'll probably end up taking a hit. No. Ah, that sucked. Well, at least he wasted the rocket. Okay, I don't know how I want to get past them. So I gotta get past him and get back through that door. Couldn't probably throw off just making a run for it. <laughs> there we go. That made it waste to rocket. Yeah, I tried to do the glitch where it gets stuck on the cabinet thing in that one room, but I of course messed it up. Comes. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I messed that. Of course, I'm, I messed that up because he shot the rocket pretty much immediately. Anyway. Anyway. Not doing too good in this section. Lost the herb. Still have to deal with Nemi. Good news is we can get some freeze rounds now. Should be a little more effective at taking them on. Bam! That'll come in handy for sure. Something that for that. Actually, yeah. Dump the lockpick now, because I'll be back for it. Alright. Let's see if we can take on Nemesis. Ah, of course I ran right into one. Oh, but his rocket launcher is gone. <laughs> What's the matter, Nemesis? <laughs> I freaking wasted all your rockets? 
dumbass. So yeah, you know what? I guess he did waste this last rocket there in the hallway. Good. Yeah, he's only got five shots with that thing for a time you see him with it, and then it's gone. Yeah, I got some zombies to deal with. Probably for the best way to take these guys out so they don't cause any trouble dealing with Nemesis. Whoa! Shit. Did not need to get hit by that. Back up. Die. Thank you. Okay, we're just gonna go straight for the grenade launcher. Get in there. Come on, Emmy. Oh. Ouch. Yeah, that's why the freeze rounds are the best weapon to use on Nemesis. They hit like a freight train. Actually, they actually damage him multiple times. Use that now. Let me go. Oh, crap. Okay, hey, gotta play Ring Around the Rosie with them. Get in there, Jill. God damn it. I cannot do that glitch right. I could just shoot him. Get up. There we go. That's better. Reload. Shit. Oh my god! That was close. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I thought we were screwed there. Yeah. Those freeze rounds. They mess them up pretty good. <laughs> okay. Dealt with him again. Not quite the way I wanted to do it. I didn't want to play like Ring Around the Rosie with him 12 times, but we eventually got him. In the end. <laughs> Somehow. We got pretty lucky that the that the grenade launcher was there. We actually managed to scrounge up enough gunpowder to make some freeze rounds for it. Whereas if we got in the Magno, well, would not have had enough for to make ammo for that. Probably would have died there. <laughs> Thank you, little grenade launcher. You can get some rest now. Let's make. The Eagle 6.0. Now that's a beautiful handgun. It's pretty much gonna replace this one once we, well, once we get some. Actually, once we use up all the ammo in this. And now, let's drop it off. I should figure out to save it here. We're almost an hour into the video, and I'm getting a little tired, so we're going to save it. I'll pick this up later. All right. Oh, yep, there you go. That's more evidence that I'm playing this on an emulator. Although I won't be cheating and using save states, because, you know, that's for cheapskates. Anyway, thank you all for watching this first episode of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I promise I'm better at the game than this. <laughs> uh, I know it looks like I'm not doing too hot right now, but I promise I, I promise I'm not this crappy at the game. <laughs> this is from not playing it for like 15, 15 something years. So I'll see you guys later for part two. Ciao.